regular and consistent um, and make sure that you don't don't lapse. It takes a lot of work to, to do all of that and there's a lot of tools out there in the industry for, for managing this stuff. There's also tools to help optimize keywords and social content. Um, but a, a few of the tools we pulled out were HubSpot, Constant Contact, um, uh, Deliver.it, and then and Snipway. So HubSpot is really a tool that's comprehensive in terms of uh, delivering outbound uh, social media posts. It can be really a one-stop shop for marketing. Um, it does have some cost to it, but it does a lot of powerful functions. Uh, customer support is really fantastic, and they have tutorials and guides to, to help uh, people learn what, that, what the functionality is. They pro provide reports and feedback when you write blogs and post to social media, and they really serve as the issue that hub is the right word in this case, they, they serve as that hub for posting on many different social media sites um, quickly and consistently. Um, and then you can also schedule posts to go out at a certain time if you, if you um, want to prepackage those. So it helps manage that flow of information. Constant Contact is, is one of many email marketing campaign uh, delivery sites. Uh, MailChimp is also another, but you can uh, create emails, newsletters, content pieces, schedule them. You can deliver them to one audience, multiple audiences. Uh, it's, it's a little bit more uh, single purpose as opposed to HubSpot where they're hitting many different purposes. The content contact is truly email bound, um, but it's really affordable. They provide great templates um, and it really does help kind of streamline the email contact that you have with clients. Uh, Deliver IT is a tool to automate social posting, so similar to HubSpot, it's, it's helping make sure that those posts are consistent across all of your social media platforms, and it helps to automate those, and you can choose different content uh, types, and, and the, the content will be delivered for you. So it's not a, a tool, that, again, that's as comprehensive, but it is good at making consistent posts at social media. Uh, Snipply is a tool that allows you to call out action on any page, even if it's not yours. So if you find an article that's related to a product or service, you can put a floating uh, CTA there to direct your readers to the page. There are limitations to the pages you can snip, but you can make this automated and promote your product or company with, without a lot of effort. Um, and it's also a free tool, so it's probably worth checking out based on that. A lot of these tools are really just set up to help streamline the, the interaction you have with uh, clients potential um, and, and potential people following your business. Team collaboration is, a, is an area where we have spent a ton of time trying to uh, use these tools internally to ensure that our team is communicating properly. And so we've, we've got some first-hand knowledge in a lot of these tools and, and we also have you know, gone through a lot for other clients, but Asana is a is a task oriented tool, um, and it allows you to create projects, uh, invite and share people, uh, assign tasks, due dates, priorities, uh, roll things up, roll things down. It gets very high level. It gets very granular. It's good for making roadmaps. It's good for um, it just any any place where team collaboration is important and that allows you to keep everyone kind of up to date and move away from email and um, while still receiving email alerts uh, on progress and any updates that are directed your way. It's a tool that allows anyone to, to update a task or due date and, um, and inform the team of progress and, and keep accountability. Liquid Planner is time tracking and time estimating for, for projects. Um, is really the, the root of that application. For those who don't have a strong skill set in project management, this is a great tool because um, it can do a lot of uh, some of the basics of project planning for you. Um, it's not as flexible as some of the other project management tools um, and it does have some costs associated with it as most project management tools do. Um, and But it can be used uh, quite powerfully once you understand how it works. Uh, Basecamp has been around a lot of years and it's continued to kind of evolve in its space. It's uh, about keeping keeping a, a core project together and keeping everyone informed as you go along. 
um, it, it's role based, so it helps you assign different tasks into different roles, and um, it's it's a very visual application. It's also very flexible; can be moved into a lot of different project types, and uh, it just again facilitates a lot of good communication. Uh, since it's been around a lot a while, it has a lot of good integrations into things like Dropbox and other um, cloud services that we'll put on later in this presentation. Easy Project is a project management tool um, that, that keeps things pretty simple and keeps pricing pretty low. So for a small group and, uh, uh, just needing some basic project management uh, tools, Easy Project is a good option for, for keeping everyone in the loop. There are mobile tools and remote access and uh, customer service available, but there's also free training that comes with that tool. CRM. Um, CRM can run the gamut of uh, affordable to um, very, very expensive. Um, and CRM is probably the, the topic we spend the most amount of time talking to clients about. We, uh, it, it is, in most cases, very core to the business, and it, it's very important to have something that's conducive to your workflow and, uh, and fits into the way you do business. It will help you. It can help you grow and grow the business and generate more revenue. And um, every small business really needs something like this. And it's just a matter of kind of finding the right tool to help you uh, manage leads, contacts, organizations, partners, vendors, suppliers. Um, you, know, you can use it for a little piece of that puzzle, or you can you can bite off the whole thing with most CRMs. So there's a lot of um, vendors that have been in the space for a long time, and there's also vendors that are new. And Sightly um, is really about creating visibility around contacts and leads, um, including you know, dates, history of communication, is trying to create visibility around who those people are and, and how you interacted with them so that um, if time passes, you can go back and follow up with them. As your company grows, this role of a CRM is to keep everything organized in one place. And it really helps to, to keep visibility on who those, those folks are and make sure people and clients and prospects and leads don't fall through the cracks. Um, Salesforce is, is probably an application almost everyone has heard of. It is one of the largest and most dominant players in the CRM industry. Um, it is super popular and it is, um, it, its cost is probably there to match. It is extremely powerful. It can be customized up or down. There's really very few cases where Salesforce cannot apply, but in, uh, in a lot of the small business clients that we work with, the, the pricing is is, um, is a challenge for sure. They do have lots. There, there are development shops, and, and there are teams associated with purely Salesforce development, which is a, a tribute, I guess, to how big and um, dominant they have become in the market. Infusionsoft is really targeted at small business. Um, they they promote a lot around their lead generation and marketing automation. So they they kind of branch into this the first topic we talked about and helping um, post and maintain you know social content and, and then build relationships with their product. Um, to, as with any CRM, they're trying to attract leads and keep track of them all in one space. Um, and notifying customers and, and keeping track of when customers are ready to buy so that you can you know, nurture that lead effectively. They also have personalized one-on-one -on -one coaching available, um, but they are, they are growing in the space as well, and, and so their, their pricing kind of grows with them. Goldmine works great as a contact manager if you're not a company focused heavy on sales and, and lead generation, but, um, but you still need to keep track of people. and how and what they're buying and, and how you're interacting with them. Um, it syncs well with Outlook and QuickBooks and it makes just some, some very basic CRM interactions pretty easy. It's really targeted at small business and, uh, and probably in particular, you know, a, a company of about 25 using the software. They have great support. It's also mobile friendly and it's, uh, it's on-premise uh, solution, which means it's not cloud-based. It would go on some hardware that that you as the client own, um, but but that's not a, a huge barrier. 
file sharing is something that everyone knows something about. Um, you know, everybody has had times where they've needed to email a file and not been able to find where it is. Um, it's a file sharing is one of the most productive um, tools to use when you can when you can use it well. Um, and having a good file sharing system internally and externally is extremely important um, for business. Keeping assets centralized and organized saves time and obviously brain power. But also, it helps secure your data and, and know where data is. Um, Guru Locker is a solution that we have provided to clients as, um, in line with our managed services. And it's uh, a product we've aligned ourselves with that helps do uh, remote sharing, file sharing, check-in, check-out, all the basics of, of any file sharing software. It also does um, PC backup as, as an option for people that have data on their, their remote systems. Dropbox is, is probably the industry leader in the space, along with Box.com. Uh, they also they have just carved out a, a great market in the personal space. Um, and they continue to develop their, their business tools and it's really a race to the, the top in terms of the business functionality that these platforms offer. Um, OneDrive comes with a lot of Office 365 subscriptions and OneDrive is, is really file sharing specifically catered towards uh, the user level. So making sure that a user's data is, uh, and files are put backed up between devices. Um, making sure that you can get your device on your your files on your laptop and your phone and your iPad and your um, home PC. So making sure that those files are synced across everything. Google Drive is um, inherent to Google Apps and is uh, is a slightly different take, but it performs a lot of the same functionality. Google Drive and OneDrive both come with a full um, web-based suite of editing tools, meaning that you. Can don't even need Microsoft Word to update Word documents and those tools anymore. Um, Dropbox and some of the other players are moving in that direction as well, so they're they're starting to almost stand on their own as a platform, which is pretty interesting. But we see tons of interest in the, the file sharing space and just trying to find the most scalable solutions that that employees are happy with at each organization. Mileage logs. A lot of uh, small business professionals need to to do traveling, and um, the wear and tear on cars is not always ideal. But that's why mileage reimbursement exists. Um, this system, these systems are kind of varied in terms of how they how they do their tracking, but they're they're all basically um, you know a similar way to track your. Uh, mileage as you as you travel for your business. Um, some of them work based on GPS, like Mile IQ, um, and depending on how you how many miles you travel each month, Mile IQ is actually free. Um, you can uh, also turn off navigation and some of those things, so it's actually built into the GPS on your phone, um, and then or you can turn it back on and, and let it uh, aggregate some of your mileage for you. Mileage Log Plus is another app with uh, lots of features for logging miles. It can track personal, business, uh, charity, medical, all kind of in one place. And then it will export a report for you via email with your miles and reimbursements based on standard rates and or any other rate that you need to input. Um, so you can generate a report to submit uh, for mileage reimbursement. Now, there is a little cost to Mileage Log, but um, I think it's under $10. Auto Miles um, senses when you're driving and tracks your miles along with it. So if it's not a business trip, you can just delete the, the trip. And then, you, again, your data is exported to a spreadsheet and, uh, and allows you to report based on that. And Clix uh, has fast input for a mileage log. You can type your destination. It'll calculate your mileage from your current location. And then you can add a your reason for travel, change your rates, and uh, also export and print out any of your uh, any of your email. SpyFu. Um, this is a, about co doing competitive research in the market. Um, it's pretty a pretty daunting task for, for 
for some clients, depending on what, what markets you're in and, and how much it takes, but it's something that you can definitely benefit from and knowing competition strengths and where you need to improve um, is very, very valuable. SpyShow allows you to look at metrics around competitors' online campaigns and pricing and um, help find out which keywords are best and, and which ones don't really pay off, see who's um, ranking at searches organically, and uh, it allows you to actually search back into history and get more data um, about how your competition has been, been doing search engine optimization and other marketing functions and see how they have kind of changed over time. Google Alerts is a... Uh, is you can set up filters for whenever Google finds news based on a certain topic. So you just set up keywords, and any time uh, Google scales across a news article that involves that keyword, you can get an email, you can get an email digest. Um, it allows you to also kind of get backlinks and monitor their social media easily. It's a great way to, to just track news articles for people in your industry, uh, you know, clients of yours that are key, and you know, send out congratulations when they've done something well and just keep up without having to read you know, the local paper uh, front to back and, and make sure you don't miss anything. Social mention um, allows you to monitor you know, mentions on social media focused on um, other blogs and video. Just allow you to keep track of when people might be talking about you or talking about your competition. Uh, it's also keyword based so that you're creating things that matter to you. An SEO book does competitive research and monitoring of keywords to uh, provide, again, research in the competitive margins. So. Human resources is, a, is a, an area where there's been lots of development in, in, uh, in the last few years, and some of the leaders have been, gotten very, very good at. Um, Cinefits is, is growing like Salesforce has, and they really are trying to be a one-stop one shop for payroll benefits, insurance, um, all of the things that fall under the HR calendar. So this uh, tool can also do employee onboardings, offboardings, employee self-service, HR reporting, compliance. Um, it, it, it's, it's a beast, um, but it, it does a, a lot for a lot of clients, and it's uh, very beneficial. ZipRecruiter is a recruiting tool that allows you to post on uh, several job sites, uh, many job sites for free, um, and helps put these job listings on other recruiting websites. They can send you notifications um, and also send notifications out to clients uh, who may benefit from a posting, and it really is a tool to kind of streamline that posting process. Uh, Bamboo HR is, is uh, a little bit similar to Zenefits, but they focus on more of the internal aspects as opposed to some of the external aspects. But they uh, they are trying to eliminate spreadsheets in, in HR and keep track of uh, job history, benefits tracking. And they also have a self-service portal. So it's, uh, it's catered a little bit more to the small scale, but uh, it's still a very powerful tool. 15.5 is one of the the tools that we've uh, embraced a ton here at Donut. Um, it allows you to do uh, weekly reporting um, from self-reports from your employees. Uh, and it goes up the, up the ladder and down the ladder. So um, we, we ask questions of each of our employees of what, what can we do to improve and um, you know how what what's going well and also keep track of priorities for each employee. Um, and it's really slimmed down the amount of talking and chatter that we have to have about just what's going on in order to kind of focus on the job at hand. A tiny pulse uh, is something that we've also advocated. It's a survey tool to allow you to quick, quickly check in every week with your employees and kind of take a, a pulse of the organization. Um, it, it allows you to trend those, those kind of poll questions. So we, we track happiness across the organization. We ask that question once a month and we have for probably the last 18 months. So we know, um, you know when, when times are tough on our staff that, that we see it back in the tiny pulse result. It also allows you to um, give praise to other employees and, um, and, and ask other survey questions that are completely anonymous to the employees or to, to management who's reading those reports. So it has really served as a, as a good pulse on our organization. 
internal communication, there's there's uh, many more tools in this area for clients of Office 365. Skype for Business is a wonderful tool. Um, it continues to get better. It was formerly called Link, um, and it's gotten better and better in the last probably two months. A, a ton has changed uh, with Microsoft's acquisition of Skype. So we've, we've used it. A lot of our clients use it. It's going to continue to improve in terms of functionality. Uh, Yammer is a is also a Microsoft product, but it's a social network just for the organization, so you can keep kind of conversations internally um, and, and do some collaboration within that tool. And Slack is a new player to the industry in the last probably 18 months, and they now have a market cap of several billion dollars. Um, it is really a group-based chat, but it's an all-in-one kind of chat. Uh, collaboration, brainstorming, uh, it's, it's infinitely scalable, they, they plug into a lot of applications, um, but it, at its root it's really kind of a, a group chat where you have chat rooms based on topic or based on groups uh, and allows a lot of people to participate. And, um, it's, uh, it's very, very powerful and gaining a lot of steam in the industry. Inventory is a, another tool, depending on the other applications that your organization uses. Um, ma managing inventory and getting product out the door is, uh, can sometimes be a challenge. Keeping stock filled without over overstocking or overordering can be a fine line. So, so these tools are kind of made to help you stay efficient if you don't have a, a big, uh, a big uh, core. Uh, management application for, for inventory. Um, so Stitch Labs is a tool that will help you manage inventory, fill orders, and ship fast. It's meant to streamline functions and increase sales. Uh, their tools can help you get time back and make better decisions about growing the business. So they're all about streamlining the, the picking and the shipping process of, of just small inventory products. Um, a pretty simple product, but it's also pretty powerful. Um, and it's a one-stop shop for inventory management. Open Bravo is an open source uh, enterprise planning tool. Uh, it ties directly in with just about every every uh, aspect of your ERP system while uh, providing powerful inventory tracking tool. You manage vendors, track inventory moves, whether it be between warehouses, clients, vendors, and just track everything. And Inflow is different because it's a client site only tool. The database can handle about 10,000 pieces of inventory and include features such as barcode scanning, uh, multiple units of measure, multiple locations, sublocations, and then full product movement history. And integration. Um, application integration is, is something that we spend a lot of time doing um, and it's really core to kind of who we are as an organization. We understand that sharing data um, between applications is critical for, you know, speed of an organization. It's also very critical in terms of consistency and reliability and the integrity of the data you have in the organization. So um, we spend a lot of time making sure that these applications, some of them that we have recommended and others, can talk to each other. Uh, the data is not manually entered in multiple places multiple times, uh, avoiding any manual entry if we can, um, and, and making sure that regardless of whether your system's on premise or in the cloud, public or private, or, or, um, or hosted with a third party, that all of that, that data is consistent and you know where you're going to you know, run your business. So I think Callie has been keeping tabs on the questions. Is there any questions that have been raised? So far, the only question we've had uh, were about the slides. So yes, I want to let everyone know that after uh, we wrap up here today, I'll be, I will be sending a version of um, our slides, uh, this recorded webinar, because we've been recording it today. So we'll go ahead and send that along too. And then a link to the blog that inspired this webinar. Uh, so we hope that if you guys do have any other questions, you will feel free to reach out to us at any time um, with those. And we can just email you back if it's after the webinar. Uh, but if anything comes up, feel absolutely free to to reach out. Excellent. Well, thanks, guys, for participating, for, for joining and listening and being interested. And if we can help with anything, please let us know.